Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. It's been a while since I posted. Uh, obviously with everything going around, it's hard to find uh, motivation to work on the car, but I'm back at it today. So let's jump into the current project. So right here, I made a sound box. Uh, I don't know if I'll throw in the time lapse of me actually cutting this out. Might be a bit boring. But the next step is is actually figuring out where the speaker goes and then the actual wire connections. I bought this Alpine PWE58 compact subwoofer and amp. Uh, I've taken it all apart. If you guys want to do this, this is glued in. Uh, so what I did is uh, I boiled a whole bunch of water and put this in the sink and then I let it sit and then I was able to pull this off. So today I am going to be figuring out where to cut the hole for the sub and figure out how to actually mount um, that panel there because that's where all the wires plug in. So without further ado, let's jump into that. Let me show you where I'm at. Um, I've removed everything from the actual casing here and let me tell you there must be 30 screws just to keep this thing together so here's a bunch here's a bunch um, now everything is actually out so I did mark mark where I wanted the speaker cut but I forgot I want to use this as well so I'm gonna mark out where this goes and then redraw the circle it just needs to move over a little bit so I can reuse this cover here. Uh, so I'll route something in here so it, it slips right in. Similar to, well, I guess identical to this cutout here. So it will be uh, sitting in there. So let's redraw this circle, uh, cut the circle. That's why I'm working outside. I did cut all of this wood inside and there's dust everywhere. I've been cleaning it nonstop, nonstop, nonstop and there's just dust. So I don't recommend cutting this kind of wood inside because it's super fine but let's jump into it forever young or am i faking on the tip of my tongue there's a sarcasm waiting for you okay so i started cutting with the, the dremel i've done a lot of boat sound systems and this is the easiest thing to cut through fiberglass but not this thick of wood so luckily I just picked up uh, some new power tools because um, I didn't have what's it called a jigsaw yeah jigsaw uh, so that definitely made life easier but yeah I started cutting into the second layer down here so I had to put something to raise the height of this now I'm just gonna I guess uh, dremel this out to make it a bit smoother um, and yeah some of you are probably smarter than me and wondering how the hell am I gonna get a speaker that's bigger than this through this hole it's a good question uh, didn't think that that far through so I'm gonna have to either remove this front piece or remake it which is fine um, but the reason for that is I can't get the speaker in there but that is what it is I'll have to cut it off or whatever that's fine but let's jump into that and see how it goes let's see what I have so far sub is in um, I've made space for the wire plug it's better to be recessed in there it's just sitting on the bottom here if you will I need to screw it in but that way there's space for everything uh, to clip in Hopefully that's enough room in here. But yeah, <laughs> look, this is not easy. But uh, I mean, just look how this box is. It's not an easy shape to work with. So I'm gonna try secure this where it is now. And yeah, go from there. Well, 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 gents, the 
sun is going down uh, I've used all these tools including the most important tool of all so mr. Miller so that's what it's gonna look like oh fingers crossed it closes yay uh, so that closes good that's how I wanted it um, so I think it came out pretty good uh, I'm not gonna finalize the box until everything's back together as far as wrapping it in in carpet or whatever but let me take it out and show you what we got so here's the front I don't know if I'm gonna actually close these holes if I do uh, when I finish the box it'll probably just be a fiber cross um, mesh and then this hole uh, same thing I don't know if I'll close it I'll probably you know do a whole coat of resin on here I don't know uh, we'll see but then on the back here this is where I need to neaten it up a bit because there's a bit of a big gap there but here's the actual control panel that came with it um, it's recessed in because hopefully all these plugs don't stick out too far when they plugged in uh, and the harnesses and that actually comes out right at the top here so some of the wires are here already uh, as you can see uh, so I'm replacing all the wires anyway because I'm redoing the whole system but would I recommend doing this well let's put it this way if you are uh, quarantined for a week um, and you have the supplies uh, go for it you got some time to kill <laughs> if you uh, don't want to tinker I don't recommend it um, but yeah I think all in all I guess we'll find out if it sounds good afterwards but if you can just look at the the intricate uh, cutting and angles you need to fit into that weird uh, space oh, let me not drop a screw because then uh, I'll be doing how to repair a flat so yeah um, I've never done a subwoofer box this complex I've only done one which was a rectangle and that was back when I was uh, 17 so this one's pretty complex I think it came out good I think that's like that's exactly what I was going for is something hidden away where you can close this I'm not gonna work on the sub anymore until all the wiring's done and I test it out and if it all works then I'll wrap it finish it up but right now that took a long time uh, so yeah until next time thanks a lot for tuning in um, next project I guess it's gonna be jumping into the radio seeing if I can hook all of this up and we'll go from there the thanks door, again although the rooms already crowded